Before the development of microbiology and the understanding of the role of microbes in causing disease, uh, most cultures thought that disease had something to do usually with evil spirits, bad vapors, things like that. But if they had the sense that it was an evil spirit, there was the idea that perhaps you could get the evil spirit out of the sick person and put it into somebody else or into something else. In fact, they noticed when a lot of disease was around that as one person would be recovering, other people would become ill. And so the logical conclusion, they thought, was that that person was passing along to others the evil spirit that was in him or her. And so there evolved this idea that it was literally possible to remove the, 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 the sickness from the person, the evil from the person, and put it onto someone else. Well, that's a little bit cruel. And so there evolved in many ancient cultures, particularly in the Middle East, the idea that you could do that from a person to an animal. The ancient Hebrews, ironically, developed the idea of the scapegoat, where pick a particular goat by lot and then perform a ritual where the evil spirit that was causing people to be sick would be put into the goat, uh, and then the goat would be driven into the wilderness to die. Uh, this is the origin, of course, of the term a scapegoat, someone who takes the blame for a lot of wrongdoing. We can all think of scapegoats in history. It's a pretty common thing. Well, I mentioned the ancient Hebrews ironically developing this because there is some pretty good evidence that the uh, Jewish diaspora, the, the uh, spreading of, of the Jews all over the old world very rapidly, uh, anciently, uh, came about because uh, various peoples among whom the Jews lived decided that they were, because they were different, perhaps the causes of disease. Perhaps they were uh, bringing down the punishment of God on those among whom they lived because of whatever prejudice people may have had against them for whatever reason. For example, uh, during the uh, Middle Ages, the Jews were, were the descendants of Christ killers and other kinds of uh, prejudice that people uh, came up with in order to persecute the Jews. Well, they're then developed, not only with regard to the Jews, but they're developed this notion that perhaps these folks who are different are impure. Perhaps they are the cause of the diseases that afflict us. And so it was not uncommon, again, before the uh, understanding that came upon us quite recently in history, that disease had to do with microbes, that you could blame or scapegoat a particular people, in this case the Jews, drive them away, and then thus purge the community of the evil that was present, in this case, causing disease. Now, I don't know that there's anyone who would argue that the Jewish diaspora uh, is the result of, alone, uh, disease and scapegoating. But I don't think there's any doubt that these folks, uh, ironically, who had developed in their own culture this notion of the scapegoat, became the scapegoats uh, when pestilence and uh, horrible disease would afflict a community in which there were Jews. Then the thought was, well, these are different. We don't like them anyway. We have other reasons to dislike them. Uh, perhaps they are the cause of our disease, or perhaps we can, by purging them from our presence, by making them the scapegoats for our suffering, uh, thus alleviate our own uh, problem with regard to disease. So uh, this is one of those times in our, in our course where there are lots and lots of factors involved in a subject like the Jewish diaspora. But when you begin to think about, as we have asked you to do in this course, the role of disease in all kinds of things, then it certainly makes a lot of sense, and there is plenty of historical evidence that would support the notion that the, the uh, diaspora, uh, the Jewish diaspora, uh, had at least some connection to the presence of these horrible diseases and pestilences and epidemics sweeping across the old world.